Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I am going to talk to you about letting go of pain. Now, what I've realised and I've observed is that quite often, especially if it's a pain that we've picked up, a hurt from something that happened to us quite a while ago, it becomes part of who we are and we identify with that pain. It becomes part of our personality. And although it hurts and it damages us and it can ruin relationships and it can make life difficult and create distance between us and people or things or activities or whatever it is, we hold on to that pain because we've now identified with that pain and we think that that pain makes us who we are. And this week, I want to share this with you because a lot of us have these kind of pains, these hurts, these wounds that we hold on to. And I'm not telling you you have to or you must let it go. Although personally, I would, <laughs> um, holding on to any pain or hurt only causes the person that holds on to it pain and hurt by the very nature of it, even though we don't see it as that. So I'm really sharing it with you, hopefully in the hope that you'll think you might reflect, and have a look at your life and see if this does apply to you. If there is something that you've been holding on to that in the light of day, as I talk about it, you might decide that actually it might be good to let go of. So the things that you might hurt, hold on to, for instance, um, I was bullied at school and being somebody who was bullied, kind of, I used to wear it as a way, as a, a sort of like with a badge of honour, that I was somebody who had been bullied and survived and, you know, gone forward with my life. But the pain of what I went through, I held on to for a long, long time. It affected my romantic relationships. It affected relationships with people in general. Um, and it's the only person that it can continue to hurt was me. And until I decided that I no longer wanted to hold on to that. There's many other hurts and wounds. Um, our parents say things they don't mean to necessarily hurt us, but they might not necessarily know what they're doing or they might have picked it up from their parents and might be passing it on without thinking about it. Um, society, um, and you see it so often in activist groups. And it's funny because I by no means condone bad behaviour, be it sexism, racism, or um, for something that's been very close to my heart for many years is anti-vivisection. Um, I don't condone any of the behaviour that those groups are formed to try and abolish. But at the heart of those groups, quite often there is a deep, deep pain. And the people in those groups are connecting around that pain. And my problem with that, and I feel rather unsafe saying this because I don't normally speak up about my views on these things, is that when we tap into that kind of pain as a group, as a collective of people, and then we take action of from where that seat of that pain is, all we do is end up spreading and multiplying that pain amongst more people because our actions come from hurt, from, from being wounded. Um, I'm not saying that action shouldn't be taken. I'm just saying be aware of where the action is coming from. And I speak from my own personal experience because I've also come from a place of pain in the past. And I know that it only causes more pain. Pain to someone else when I project that onto them and pain to myself when I have to relive it and experience it over and over again. Um, the only way I know to help move past that pain is to acknowledge it, to know that you are holding it, that it is there. And for me, what I tend to do is I do a process of deep breathing. I, I try to observe myself feeling the pain. So I sort of step back um, and try to disassociate with it a little bit. I sense where it's sitting in my body, where I'm feeling it. And then I breathe really, really deeply, deep down into my stomach. I breathe and I breathe through where the pain is being held in my body. And I do that until I feel it shift and move. Um, forgiveness is another thing that you can use to let go of pain and hurt and I did an episode on forgiveness a few weeks ago and I'll put a link to that in the show notes below. But holding on to that hurt and pain doesn't punish the person who caused the pain to you. They might have moved on and got on with their life 
The only person that that pain hurts is you and the people that you have currently in your life that you project that pain onto. And actually all it does is spread more pain and more hurt. Um, I hope it's a very sensitive subject and I hope that I haven't offended anybody with what I've shared today. Um, I hope you understand this comes from a place of love and a place of understanding and seeing someone else's pain, but also knowing deep down that holding on to that doesn't do you any good, it doesn't do the people you love any good, it doesn't do anyone any good. And the only way to start moving past that and to living life fully is to start um, acknowledging it and letting it go. Mother Teresa said something, and I can't remember the exact quote, but it was along the lines of, I will not walk in against something. I think it was um, anti-war. Um, someone invited her to walk against war or walk against the bomb or something like that. And she said, I will not walk against anger. And I think she intrinsically knew that those demonstrations were coming from a place of pain. But she said that she would walk for peace. Um, and that's really what I hope to bring across in this episode today, is that I'm not saying don't take action. I'm just saying, find out for yourself where that action's coming from. Find, make sure that you're not spreading pain and hurt and that you are coming from a place of love, a place of forgiveness, a place of truly seeing that only hurt people hurt people. Um, as I've said, all the notes are in the show notes below, along with links to my website and links to online courses and any other freebies and whatever else that I'm doing will all be in the show notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.